Hey everybody, um, this is episode zero. Why is it episode zero? Any geek will understand that. Uh, because I recorded episode one and forgot to explain what this is all about. So, a little history. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. This, this is going to be an ongoing video series, I just decided, because uh, it takes me too long to write. So, it's easier for me to talk, visualize, I'm that kind of person. So, um, it's easier for me to videotape this. Might be a little harder for you to watch. I am continuously getting more and more frustrated with um, how products work. And I don't care what kind of product it is. It's uh, uh, cars, uh, cameras, you know, uh, doors in a building. Uh, you know, uh, somebody just built a building for presentations. Things like this, which I, has led me to believe that there are most people that do these, create these products, no matter what it is, don't end up using them. And it's hard for me to understand that uh, because uh, as a software developer, I always try to use the products, especially if I'm selling it myself and I'm going to be the consumer. All, most all the products that I've written personally have come from something I needed. And, uh, and I usually search and see if there's one out there that comes really close and if it's not, then I, uh, I write it. It might take me a while, but I need to fulfill that need to make my life a little bit easier. So a lot of uh, companies miss, and again, I don't care what industry it is, is um, they don't talk enough to the end users. Uh, they would sit in their little ivory towers or ivory cubes and uh, don't ever get out. And I'll give you some examples of that. So um, they kind of lose touch. So one of the things I do as a geek, app writer, programs, uh, software engineer, uh, musician, whatever, I tr I've been trying really, really hard for many, many years to make sure that whoever's putting out whatever I'm using uses it. So I spent about a week, a year at Microsoft. I actually actively, purposely spend a lot of that time finding out how Microsoft designs things. And there's many reasons for this. First off, it's like kind of want to learn from Microsoft, right? That, you know, Seattle's the holy land for, you know, Microsoft engineers. And because um, I, I believe if, if, if they're using something they've written, then they probably have a lot of motivation to make it better. And, um, and not every product makes it out into the world, and some products make it out to the world and die a horrible death because nobody wants to use it or it's too hard or it doesn't fulfill the need it was supposed to. So Microsoft is one place I actively do that every single year I'm there. And when I'm allowed to, I bring that information back and tell it to my students or uh, you know, my coworkers and things like that. Uh, most of the stuff I learn at Microsoft, I can't tell you because I'm under NDA, but once they make it public, it's okay. But something being a Microsoft MVP is even though I have that knowledge, I can't tell you I can guide you to what's coming in the next couple of years. So, you know, by the time you've heard something Microsoft's released, I've heard about it for many years. It's old news to me. I'm going to pick on everybody and I don't care if it's a potential sponsor for my tour or trip. I don't care if it's uh, Microsoft. And if you're going to put something out there, you need to back it. And if you don't back it, then don't worry about it. So my disclaimer is, uh, these are my thoughts, nobody else's thoughts. Nobody wrote this, actually nobody's writing this. It's me, my brain, what I think. And if you don't like what I think, stop watching. I'm gonna be releasing this mostly on my geek website just because I think most of this applies to software development because a lot of this just applies to architecture. Architecture is everywhere and uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, and it's all pretty much the same thing. It's just different surfaces. The building, software, which is virtual, whatever it is, architecture is everywhere. And uh, I don't see a lot of good architecture either. If you have any questions, email me.